hey guys welcome to protocol orders point okay so in this tutorial let's learn how to install windows subsystem for linux in short it is called as wsl so by installing it you can make use of ubuntu operating system or a linux operating system by being into a windows operating system so we are going to install ubuntu as a, a subsystem in your windows operating system okay so let's get started okay so to make use of wsl in your system or a laptop there are some requirement to be checked so first thing is you need windows 10 and the build version of it should be 18 and above 18,010 above so to check there just go to file manager okay and in this pc just go to property and check it so you can see i have windows 10 and a built version of this windows 10 would be 18 and above so to check that just go to search bar and search for system information and here you can see the version is mine is 819.43 and it should be greater than 18 so if it is not if yours is not greater than 18 you just need to upgrade update your uh, windows operating system so to update your operating system just go to search bar again and search for windows update Okay, so here it is. Okay, so you can see mine is up to date and today just I have just checked. Okay, so by doing this you can just upgrade your Windows version, build version. Okay, so these are the two requirements before making use of WSL in your system. Okay, so let's get started by installing WSL Linux operating system. Okay, uh, so for that just open a terminal. Or a command prompt and run it as admin and now here you just need to write one command and it will just install windows uh, subsystem that is linux ubuntu system okay so just enter wsl and two hyphen install okay so here you can just specify a specific version of your operating system that you want to install as a subsystem so by default i want to install just the latest version of ubuntu so i will just keep it empty and just press enter button okay so you can see it has been installing virtual machine on my system so you can see the subsystem for linux is been is getting installed and it is also downloading a kernel for this subsystem so make sure while doing this you are you have a good internet speed okay so now it has been installing ubuntu on my system so depending on my internet speed it may get take some time so i will just skip this part okay so as you can see over here my ubuntu subsystem got installed successfully on windows system so it is saying me that i need to restart my operating system now to make to affect the changes okay so let me get back after restarting my system okay so now we are back by op restarting our windows operating system and you can see over here it has automatically opened a terminal where it is saying it is installing ubuntu on my system and it may take, take some time okay so let's wait until it get installed on my system okay so to install ubuntu as a subsystem it took about uh, two to three minutes so now it is saying me to enter a name for your unix operating system so let me enter my name and now it may say to say to enter a password so let me enter my password enter retype okay so password has successfully got set and you can see ubuntu is been installed successfully on my windows operating system as a sub operating system that is ubuntu okay so now we have successfully installed uh, ubuntu as a subsystem on windows system okay so you can just explore the terminal from here and if you want to reopen this terminal you just need to go to search bar again and search for ubuntu okay so you can see so you can see over here so it is a complete replica of ubuntu operating system 
any or you can say it is fully a operating system with a terminal itself okay so here uh, if you go so let me show you where this uh, subsystem is been installed on my windows so just go to file explorer okay so go to c drive users and your operating system name mine is rajat and over here search for app data so it will be hidden you can see it is a hidden folder so to check the hidden folder just go to views and just check this tick this hidden folder checkbox okay so just go over here local and over here uh, go to packages so let me check the packages folder over here yeah so it's over here and here uh, you can see the folder name with this so ubuntu on windows so just open it and here is where your windows operating system is been installed okay so now uh, let's run some command and check in this terminal okay so you can see ls minus l if i do you can see ls cd dot dot home cd dot dot so ls minus a so you can see there is variable folder where we usually install or deploy or host our uh, website and everything so you can do it over here okay so you can also access uh, windows operating system file manager or or a disk by from this terminal okay so let me check how to do that so suppose if i want to go to c drive from this windows of uh, ubuntu operating system so you just need to type cd slash mnt mount and here provide the disks you want to use so i want to use c drive so just hit enter so now you can see i have been mounted to c drive okay so let me show you my c drive over here so you can see these are the folders on my c drive so let's ls minus l so you can see so by being into ubuntu system i can access my windows or a primary uh, operating system files okay so this is how you can just install and play with your ubuntu system okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to install a subsystem that is wsl in windows operating system okay thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol point